Today we are going to Kawagoe. First, we're gonna drop by a kimono rental shop called Vassara. You can choose from a variety of kimono styles, from traditional to high class designs. Tips for matching obi with kimono. Match an obi of the same color as one of the colors in the kimono. Or express contrast with symmetrical colors. The staff gave me a thin camisole as an inner garment and also the tabi. So I'm gonna go dress up now. After putting on the kimono, I'll pick a hairstyle and hair accessory so they can style my hair. The first part of Kawaoe that is filled with a ritual atmosphere is this 300 meter long Taisho Roman Yumedo Restrict. We had to stop to take photos with this full blooming sakura. The wooden Tokinokane bell tower is the symbol of Koedo that was built 400 years ago. It rings mechanically four times a day at 6 a.m noon, 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. Kawagoe is known as the capital of sweet potato, so we have to try it ourselves. Satsumaimo, as the sweet potato called in Japanese, has a rich texture and a gentle aroma that makes it ideal as a sweet treat during hot summer, so make sure to put it on your bucket list. The most popular lunch option when visiting Kawagoe is unaju, broy eel over rice, served in a locker box. There are many unagi restaurants in the neighborhood serving this local specialty, but trust me, unagi Hayashiya's version is one of the best. Sometimes you have to lie up to get in, but it's definitely worth it. Hayashiya's unaju comes in two different sizes, starting from 3850 yen and is served with pickles and a clear soup containing some of the eel's innards. This 1,500 year shrine is known for granting wishes related to the matters of the heart. So people come to the shrine for matrimonial happiness, household harmony, and matchmaking. Here you can try the Hitogata Nagashi ritual, which involves releasing a special paper into a river while chanting to purify yourself and clear your sins. You will also find a pool filled with omikuchi fortune sleep, shaped like little red snapper fish. The shrine offers plenty of Instagram worthy photo ops, so it's worth visiting in a kimono on yukata. Don't miss the two massive sacred zelkova trees in the back of the shrine. If you walk around a tree in the shape of number 8, it is said that you will gain a spiritual power. The Emma small wooden prayer plaques tunnel is also worth seeing. It's a long tunnel filled with the wishes of visitors to the shrine. If you walk a little further, you reach a stream that is lined by cherry blossoms in the spring. Until recent years, Shingasi River was mainly locals and of the beaten track tourists who enjoy its splendor, but nowadays, the cherry blossom attract thousands of admirers. One of the reasons it is such a popular cherry blossom viewing spot is because you can get a photo of a paddle boat being steered down the river under the blossoms by a man in a festival happy coat and a traditional sugegasa hat. Moreover, if you time it right, you get to see a stunning river of pink petals. There are approximately 100 mature cherry blossom trees and about 60 young sakura along a 500 meter stretch of the river. We are headed back to the Kurazukuri street to explore the local street foods. Almost 4 pm here, but it's still really crowded. You should try Dango. A popular type of rice cake that is served as both a sweet and savory snack across Japan. Yakitori, which is grilled chicken skewers, 
with special miso are popular as well and there's usually a long waiting life for them but it's totally worth it Yakisenbe grilled rice cracker has a crunchy texture and is often coated with a variety of flavorings including mayonnaise, mentaiko, and sweet soyu If you need a drink, amazake, which is fermented Japanese rice drink, is a perfect choice Another must try is takosen with freshly baked akashiyaki That's it for today guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share